Welcome back to 100 Days of Logic with 90 Second Philosophy and Carnadies.org. Today we're going to be continuing with propositional logic, looking at simplification. Now, simplification is going to just be the opposite of conjunction, our last rule of implication. With conjunction, we took two separate premises and conjoined them with an ampersand, with a conjunction operation. With simplification, we're going to take a premise that has that conjunction symbol in it and split it up into its two component parts. Let's take a look at some examples. So, I take the premise, a giant tomato grew in the garden and a tiny elephant lived below the wall. I can conclude from this that, therefore, a giant tomato grew in the garden, because that is one of the two parts of my conjunction. Another example would be, the TARDIS travels through space and time. I can conclude from this that the TARDIS travels through time, because it's one of the parts of my conjunction. Once again, this is just the opposite of the conjunction rule that we learned about last time. Let's take a look at the truth table. So, P and Q, therefore P, we fill in our truth tables below, and we look at the top row to see that the only time that the premise is true is a time when the conclusion is also true, so this is a valid form of argument, which should make sense. That was simplification. We represent that with S-I-M-P. Next up is going to be addition and many more rules. Watch a new video every single day for a hundred days here at Carnades.org, and stay skeptical, everybody.